We're in the part of uh, preseason football. It's been two years since we've had preseason football. Fresh reminder, it's also new to everyone. Uh, just having three preseason games, not four, just three. So was the dress rehearsal for the football season writ large just can completed for most of the NFL teams? Uh, or are they going to actually play somebody in preseason week number three? Because it is a couple of weeks removed from the start of the season. Just enough if a, a nick or an ache or a pain can get, you can get through it in time for week one. What will that be like? And every single snap and rep is important. Every single snap and rep is important, certainly for the young guys or for veterans trying to get the job. And in that respect, Cam Newton is now going to be out until Thursday. What happened? He played last Thursday, and he looked pretty darn good as well. We we came out of that um, <clears throat> that preseason New England curb stomping of Philadelphia, talking about Cam having the upper hand on this job over Mac yeah. because of his 8 of 903 yard one touchdown performance. And he's the leader of this team. He's talking about being the leader of this team. He's talking about this being his opportunity. He doesn't want to hear any conversation of who's the starter, who's not. That's Bill Belichick's job. He knows the whole role now, soup to nuts. Not doing everything, though, to be out there on the field for New England. Not doing everything. It appears. What do I mean by that? Statement from the New England Patriots put out within the hour of us coming on the air. On Saturday, Cam Newton traveled to a club-approved medical appointment that required him to leave the New England area. He received daily COVID tests, which were all negative. That's good news. Due to a misunderstanding about tests conducted away from NFL facilities and as required by the NFL-NFLPA protocols, Cam will be subject to the five-day entry cadence process before returning to the facility. Cam will continue participating virtually in all team activities and return to the club facility on Thursday, August 26th. What does that mean? Well, Ian Rappaport, my colleague from the NFL Media Group, put it back up there, Hoskins, one more time, please. He put it all in perspective, saying only unvaccinated players is subject to daily testing, and this indicates he fell out of the testing cadence. My colleague Tom Pelissero puts a more finer point on it, actually. He points out only unvaccinated players are subject to the five-day reentry process. There you go. Look, I have made my thoughts known on the subject, and I will make it known again. I got it this summer. It's terrible. It's dreadful. I got it because there's not enough people vaccinated, so there's enough human bodies for this virus to mutate and pierce my fully vaccinated immune system. So this is how I view it. You may view it differently, and I view it this way still on the day where the Food and Drug Administration approved the Pfizer vaccine fully. No longer an Eric's experimental vaccine. If you are not vaccinated in the National Football League as a player, you are not doing everything to win. My colleague, Michael Irvin, said it a few weeks ago. He took a lot of slings and arrows for it. I might hear, I don't care. I speak my mind on this show. You're not doing everything. Cam's not doing everything. He's not on that field right now. He'll miss Monday's practice, today's, tomorrow's, and Wednesday's. The Wednesday one is the first one where they're having practice with the Giants, who they're playing in their final preseason game on Sunday. Mac Jones will get the one. Snaps now, and Cam will be behind. Now, he's a veteran, six years removed from being an MVP. Do we know for sure? That he's not vaccinated? Like, is it out of his mouth? No, he was asked directly, said it's a personal decision. By the way, anybody who says it's a personal decision is not vaccinated. Do I know that for sure? I don't. Why not say it out loud then? The whole HIPAA violation stuff, it's nonsense. Nonsense. HIPAA violation would be if there's medical information by the actual person who's hired you putting it out there without your consent. Anything, a medical professional, putting it out there without your consent. It's not a HIPAA violation to ask somebody, are you vaccinated? And it is the most personal thing out there. Your health 
It's the most private thing out there. Your health, correct. But when you are the quarterback of the New England Patriots in their bounce back season, what a huge season this is for New England football after Brady wins the Super Bowl in somebody else's yard. How big is this after they missed the playoffs last year? Non-winning season. Those things don't happen in New England. This is a huge season. And if the Patriots are going to hand the ball to Cam Newton and he's not vaccinated, which it appears to be, what happens if this is before, say, the Sunday night game against uh, Tom Brady? Well, he won't leave town. He'll do all the precautions. How the hell do we know he's not going to walk around and get the Delta variant in his nostrils like I did? Masked up most of the time. Responsibly vaccinated. You're not doing everything. Can't build plexiglass walls wherever you walk in this virus. Mac Jones will now get the one snaps. Maybe he looks great on Sunday and gets the job. I'm really passionate about it. And 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 I I truly want to have empathy, and I have empathy. I I, I will not lose empathy. I feel for everybody. I really do. But this sort of stuff, if this man is not vaccinated and he says, I'm the leader of this team, you are not doing everything to make sure that a misunderstanding over COVID protocols leaves you out for five days. You're not doing everything possible. Get the jab.